The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 2nd, the Terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Yeah, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, 877-927-6648. That's what you call in at. If you have a question but you can't call in, you can always send me an email. Send it off early and send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A sea of red, a bloodbath out there. All the U.S. Uh, indices to the downside, all the sectors with inside the S&P 500 to the downside. Percentage-wise, it's the Russell that's leading the charge down about 3%, followed by the trannies down about 2.5% out there. So the Dow's off 550, uh, S&P 71, NASDAQ 100, 174, Russell's down 51. Gold is up 26 bucks. Silver's up 22 cents. Light speed crude is off 3 bucks and change. Natural gas is back 9 cents. The 30-year Treasury printed out 131.14. Now, leading the charge dollar-wise to the upside, you've got micro strategy. 6% move, nearly 19 bucks. Woodward Inc. up 12% or 12 bucks. Broad Ridge Financial up 7 bucks, 5%. Molson Coors, I'll take one of those, up 10%, nearly $6 there. And Top Financial Group, 11%, $5 move. To the downside, it's Credit Acceptance Corp. The old GMAC off 76 bucks, 15%. Mercado Libre down 43 bucks, 3.5%. Zebra Technologies, 32 bucks, 11%. Broadcom, 31 bucks, 5%. BlackRock, 4%. And that's a $26 move to the downside. But let's first begin. Where do we want to begin? I'll tell you where we're going to begin. We're going to begin by switching panels. Let me get to the set of charts that I want to share with you. Um, and, uh, what, and, of course, this is going to be dependent upon what uh, we see at day's end. Uh, these are not the charts. The charts right now are going to be this set of charts, the daily time frame charts for the four equity future contracts. So we can see the A to B equals CD pattern inside the ES Mini. Um, it did form a uh, sell the D point pattern back here on April 12th when it formed that bearish shooting star candle. That got negated on April 17th. So what's needed now or what was needed now for the S&P or for the ES Mini was a uh, another bearish reversal candle well we now have that three river evening star candle formation which we'll get as long as price closes i would say below 4161 don't quote me on the exact number but right around there would generate a three river evening star and then if price closes below the bottom of its daily profile we've got to go find some other places where price might be headed back to. So we won't do that this second. Uh, right now, price is testing that key level of support, which is the uh, bottom of that daily profile. So watch at day's end. It's the 4118 area. So it's back at support. It's a slightly bullish structured profile out there. We take a look at the NQ. The NQ also needs a bearish reversal candle, and then it would confirm a Rhodesman to indicator top. Now, in the case of the NQ, it's still trading with inside its profile. So its level of support on a further move lower will be between 12 12.906 and 13.013. 
If we take a look at the Dow equity future contract, I can draw in an A to B equals CD pattern here. It's an extension for sure. It might be a 1 to 2, 1 to 2.618, but we do have that, or appears we will have that Three River Evening Star bearish reversal candidate confirm that top. Now, in the case of the Dow equity future contract, it is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. So it's next price target is likely around four uh, is likely around 33 to 28 that's in the Dow equity future contract that would be the bottom of its uh, weekly profile by the way the bottom of the weekly pro uh, the center I should say of the weekly profile for the ES mini would be at about 4081 uh, but I've got to flip back to the other charts just so I can show you the trend line is out there something else that you should draw on your charts for the uh, uh, for the ES mini with regard to the Russell 2000 the Russell 2000 is likely coming back and testing this hammer candle that formed that created that roads momentum indicator bottom that was on March 24th out there. So the key low is 1703. If you close below 1703, the Russell 2000 has got some major problems. Not that it might not anyways, but uh, that would be the uh, signal to you and I. Now, if we switch back, well, let's do this. Yeah, I'm going to switch back and forth here, not to make you dizzy and not to make it too hard on myself, but I think I need to kind of take this in somewhat of an order. So here, back to the ESB, I do want to show you that trend line. It's easy for you to draw on your system. We're just simply using the low out here uh, from March the 13th, and then we're using the uh, next low from April the 26th. So that could be another price target for the ES Mini. Uh, if that doesn't contain price, or maybe you see an intraday, intra-session, because it's a weekly daily chart we're looking at, push down to that 4081 level, that's that center of a bear of a bullish structured weekly profile inside the ES Mini. What else is out here to uh, share with you? Really not much that I can see. So now let's go back to the white background screens. There's a new set of charts that I put together uh, for everyone because actually, and when I put it together, I was like, oh, maybe that's what's going on here. So let's get to uh, those charts. And those are the, these are the two, three, four bar knee jerk reaction charts. So where did I put those? Knee jerk reaction. There we go. So we're going to have the daily, weekly, and monthly for just our primary indices. It's always able to uh, get done. So along the top row, you've got the S&P 500. You've got daily, weekly, monthly. you got below that the NASDAQ 100. And then you have the Dow Jones below that. And then down the very right-hand panel in the column is the Russell for the daily, weekly, and monthly. So I'm going to key in on the S&P 500. But here now you at least see the uh, dance steps from a daily, a weekly, and a monthly time frame. And what those are telling you when you take a look at those numbers, that is telling you consecutive lower closes or consecutive higher closes out there. So that's all that Stevie is taking a look at out here. Now, what I notice most now about the fact that we are in the the possibility exists that we're going to get that bearish reversal candle confirming a top inside the uh, ES mini. Uh, the S&P 500, uh, John in the Tiger's Den was kind enough to notate uh, that the S&P had achieved wave number seven. As long as we don't get a higher close today, one of uh, Basil uh, uh, Chapman's uh, techniques out there. I encourage you to, to, to learn those techniques for sure. Um, so, so we do have tops in the cash indice and now potentially a top inside, from a daily standpoint, inside the uh, uh, the equity future contract. But the monthly chart, and I'll just simply expand it out so everybody's looking at the exact same thing. What I noticed, what popped out at me when I drew these, when I started developing these was, oh, wow, we just had a two consecutive month rally. Why is that important? Well, short of being in just a full out bullish mode, okay, which we're not in. Uh, coming off of, for example, the 2020 or the 2000, here, this is a weekly chart. Those coming off the uh, 2009 uh, low out here. We're not in that stage at this moment. You can see last time we had two consecutive moves up on a monthly basis to the upside. That was November. What happened in December? We saw a move lower. So what do you think is going to happen now? I think we could have a one to two month move lower inside the S&P 500. Steve Roach with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So I left the uh, screen here with the uh, daily, weekly, monthly uh, cash indice uh, charts out here, uh, along with their uh, consecutive higher closes and consecutive lower closes. So if we take a look at the S&P, we had two consecutive months to the upside. Uh, odds favor, we get one or two months to the downside. In the case of the Dow, you've got the exact same pattern, and the Russell's got its mind of its own. We take a look at the monthly time frame. So I'm just looking down this entire column out here. So now with today's potential reversal candle, seems like they're likely to hold, uh, we should be in store, at least at this stage here, for a, uh, for a lower close uh, during the month of uh, May. And maybe it's May and into uh, June. All right, so let's uh, get to a couple of questions. Only a couple of questions have come in so far. One was to take a look at uh, gold, so we'll do that. And the other is to take a look at B, where, let's see, where did that go? BBAI. So let's go take a look at uh, gold charts. Let me turn these off just simply to uh, free up some resource uh, space out here. So we'll get those turned off. And then we'll come back and go take a look at uh, Goldilocks. So give me a second here. We'll get to the uh, gold charts. Come on, baby. There you go. So now let's take a look at the gold. This is for Dano inside the Tigers. And I think Dano just asked me if I could go ahead and review gold. So here, if we take a look at what gold is doing on the daily time frame, Dano, it's running right into a potential resistance, which is its green oscillator and change line. That's at 2022. Price is trading right now at 2020. If price can close above that green oscillator and change line, what that should then uh, indicate to us is price will go target the top of that profile. Now, do remember that gold does have a daily Rosemont indicator top out there. So only a close above the high of that pattern. The high of that pattern is at 2063.40. Would that pattern get negated and suggest that we are in full breakout mode? If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you can see the weekly time frame chart has an A to B equals CD pattern. Price projection up around the 2130-ish type area out there. But what price is also dealing here with is a profile resistance level. That's at 2039. 
So we have a new profile, resistance, and support level. Support, by the way, down at 1945.50. That's really not of concern to us at the uh, moment. Uh, so for gold, uh, 2039 is a, a key level out there, but the real key level is going to be the top of that Rosemontum indicator resistance level of 2063.40. You get about 2063.40, and then it is off to the race. So with regard to the 30 minute time frame chart out here, no topping signal or anything, and it did take out a TD9 count top, so that suggests higher price. We're trading above profile levels, Dano, on the 60 minute time frame, the 120 minute time frame, the 240 minute time frame, the five hour time frame. Now, these larger time frames, these bars will not complete. For example, the uh, two hour, the five hour chart's not going to complete until 2 p.m. on uh, uh, 2 p.m. for the five hour, the four hours at 2 p.m. The two hours should be noon, I believe. Yeah, noon. Uh, so another uh, 40 or 39 minutes out here. Uh, so as long as price closes above 2,950, uh, then uh, price will be trading above resistance level. So what I see out here, we take a look at the intraday charts, is I see only bullish signals. So it's not those charts that are really painting the picture for you and I right now, Dano. It is really that daily time frame chart because that's the resistance level. It's up and easy for you and I to identify. And so it's dealing with that 2022 area of that oscillator unchanged line. So you close above that. And really, as we take a look at price here, what gold is up, what, uh, one and four tenths percent. So uh, as, uh, as our uh, a good man uh, in the Tiger's Den, John Z would uh, tell us, say, hey, if you can get past 1%, odds favor you go to 2%. Well, if that's the case out there, I'm just I'm not speaking for him. Uh, then we should see uh, price continue to move higher. And again, I'm not seeing any intraday time frame signals that suggest otherwise. Now, if you take a look at uh, gold on a uh, weekly basis out here, so this is kind of, uh, uh, we take a look at the at the dance steps, the consecutive move dance steps. We've got to come up with a name for it. You can see that what we did was we had a two bar move to the downside. That was into uh, April the uh, 21st. And now what do we have going on? A two bar move at least to the upside or so it would appear out there. And maybe it's going to be extend itself beyond that. But what we'll do with regard to uh, gold is really pay a attention to those resistance levels, Dano. That's perhaps the most important thing with regard to analyzing what it's doing at the moment. So I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for your request. Dano, no, that was not Dano. Uh, Dan, not, not Dano, but Dan inside the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at, let me close these charts out too, just to free up some uh, resources here. So let's get back to our typical three-day or daily, weekly, monthly view. Um, sorry, I've got a number of things open, so it's just a tad slower than uh, normal. But BBAI is the uh, ticker symbol that we're going to go ahead and type in here, BBAI. And uh, let's go see what uh, this is doing. I also want to fire this up on my other charts because I've had this delay. And, oh, it didn't even take. What's the deal here? Come on. I got a keyboard issue. What? Okay, there we go. All right, so not sure what happened there. So we take a look at BBAI, trading at about 276 right now. What this is doing, Dan, you probably already know that, it's testing the bottom of its daily profile. So that current number for the bottom of the, so let me give you the profile levels. The bottom, which is supported at 273, the center is at 316, pretty close to being in the center of the uh, profile and resistance at 360 out there. There is trend line support. If we drew that in, so you get a nice TD9 count bottom, but there's the A to B equals CD pattern. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just get rid of that line, but we can draw in a, a trend line out here. Uh, should be able to draw this in, just go like this. So that'd be the other area. If price closes below 276, Dan, that would be at the other area that I would be looking at is price to pull back to that trend line. Today, that number is approximately 260 or thereabouts. When we look at the weekly time frame chart, you just got your consolidation with price moving inside its uh, profiles between a buck 20 and 368. Now that's just the center. You close above 368, odds favor move to 615. Monthly chart not provided us with a, a ton of information. Today's pullback, Makes sense. Maybe you get a two-day pullback, uh, Dan, and the reason is because what we had was a two-bar move to the upside. Again, the so-called Texas two-step, but that's not what I want to call this. Um, and uh, but but it is it's it's a great little tool. 
uh, you can do this yourself. It's certainly easier to do for the daily charts, weekly, monthly out there versus an intraday chart. But uh, very cool. I, I think it's pretty cool. Maybe you think it's pretty cool, too. So that's what I see with regard to BBAI. It looks like you get maybe a one to two day pullback. I'd say one day pullback if price holds that support level at 276. So thanks so much for the request out there. It looks like there was a request to take a look at RF. Um, Oh, let me help do that first with regard to the uh, short trade out or long. She went long, I believe, right? Let me just uh, go over here to the ES mini charts. Let me see if it's still active. Yeah, so there's a TD. What I, what I would suggest that you take a look at. So on the on the 10-minute time frame for the ES mini, uh, this did form a TD nine count bottom. And uh, if price closes below that low, that's telling us we're headed lower. So it's a pretty easy, uh, it, 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 and on an intraday basis out here, pretty easy parameters to deal with. So you're looking at 4109. It closed below 4109. That pattern goes away, says we head lower. Now what price should do is make its way up towards that oscillator and change line at 4129. We've got no profile support here. So it's really going to be all about the exhaustion of that TD9 count. And is the market exhausted or does it have more room to run to the downside? As we take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart, I notice that this is in bar number eight of a TD9 count. And the 60-minute chart is in bar number nine of a TD9 count. So let me get those charts fired up on our screen. We'll go through that, and then we'll go take a look at RF for Roger. I'll get that one fired up as well. And of course, folks, I would love to hear from you. 877-927-6648 or Steve at TFNN.com. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome uh, back, uh, folks. So we've got the charts here for the equity futures up on our uh, screen, a 30-minute uh, time frame that we're looking at. I, I kind of like to have synergy out here, synergy with all four, showing the exact same uh, patterns out there. Sometimes you get it, and sometimes you don't. And right now, as we take a look at it, this is part of the sometimes you don't. So we are now starting bar number nine of a TD9 count. Bar number eight has been the low of the pattern. 90% probability this pattern will complete a uh, TD9 count. In other words, it still has to form bar number nine in order to do that. Now, the low can come on the bar following bar number nine. So we may not get a 30-minute uh, TD9 count bottom until 1230. So we're 11.31 right now. This uh, bar number nine completes at noon. And at 12.30, you would have your bar following bar number nine. We've got that same set of patterns inside the NQ. So it could form a bottom between now already and 12.30. So look for that. If we do get that bottom signal, your price target to the upside, short of new profiles that would form, would be the oscillator and change line. So in the 30-minute ES, that's 41.46. In the 30-minute NQ, that's 13.244. Yeah, 224, I should say. Now, in the case of the Dow, it is one bar behind the uh, ES and the NQ. So that means that it would not likely form a bottom pattern until 1 p.m. So between 12, between 11.30, between right now, okay, bar, well, really, bar number eight is at noon. So between noon and one is when you could see a TD Nike out bottom inside the Dow. The Russell 2000, not playing along. So we don't have that pattern, uh, at least on the 30-minute time frame charts. Let's go take a look at those 60-minute charts out here. Let me close this up. We'll take a look at the 60-minute time frame. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think we had uh, – let's not think. Let's actually show. So we are in bar number nine on the ES Mini. That says that at 12 noon, a TD9 count pattern will confirm, and it will complete at 1.00. The, the low of the pattern can be on that bar following bar number nine. The NQ not playing along here, but it is trading right now, and it did close below 13.169. On an hourly basis, that was its breakout level. So a second close below that would then provide us with the next target of its next breakout area, and that would be at 13.013. The Dow is in bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says that between noon and one, you could see a TD9 count bottom again. In each instance, when we do get these bottoms, the oscillator and change line become the upside price target, unless there are some profiles out there, and then that's where the other battles would be. Now, on the Russell 2000, again, not participating, not providing us with any kind of a bottom signal. Price is trading below its breakout here at 1735, so do I have another level? I don't, I don't have another level on this uh, chart out there. So the Russell 2000 might be exploring some additional territory. So that's what I see when I take a look at those intraday charts. Now, as I was getting those charts ready, I just happened to flip over to the Apple chart. So let me close this up. We're going to actually change screen. So this is kind of interesting because it gets a little bit in the way. Um, not that one stock is going to control everything, but one stock that does have pretty decent control is most certainly something for us to be aware of, and that would be Apple. Now, the thing that I identified or noticed here in Apple is it is forming a new profile right now. And that profile potentially is forming below price. I say potentially because it's forming today and if price closes back and it actually gets below the top of that profile. And here's your support level, 167.39. If price gets below that, we likely see 165.09. So I think it would be helpful, especially if you are in the NQs. Uh, you know, to to whichever side to be taking a look at the uh, Apple chart and that new profile. Again, parameters there, 163.56, 165.09, and then 167.39 being the bottom center and the uh, top of that profile. Now, you can see on the weekly time frame uh, and the monthly time frame, price has gotten up to resistance in the case of Apple. Trend line resistance on the weekly, really trend line resistance, so to speak, on the uh, monthly chart. But also you have profile resistance up at the uh, level of 168.79. So I'd say that watching Apple's performance today uh, will be uh, helpful or should be helpful. Now, um, let's go take a look at RF and ON. We can always fire up the charts for Apple and take a look at intraday stuff. But let me get to a couple of questions that did come in. Uh, this one from Roger. And Roger wanted me to take a look at RF out there. And uh, RF is, I apologize, I don't recall that one. Fi that's Regions Financial Corp. Regions Financial Corp is... Uh, 
Yeah, what a what a crazy session that this thing had back on that uh, scare day. Um, uh, that is uh, March the uh, twenty, March the thirteenth. Now, prices trading below profiles. We could see that daily. It's trading below weekly profile. It's trading below monthly profile. So each of us know at this stage here that's not a good sign. That's not a bullish sign out here. It is negating or appears to be negating a TD nine count. Well, no, that was never a TD nine count bottom. I take that back because it was bar number six that made that low. So. You have a high volume, low bar out there and prices below support levels. Roger, I would have to say that odds favor that what uh, Regions Financial is communicating to us is it wants to go test the low of that session from March the 13th. And that's down at 1394 because I've got no other pattern, profile support or anything along those lines to suggest otherwise. So at this stage, that is the call. If we look at a 30 minute time frame chart here for Regions Financial, we don't see anything out here. You certainly see A to B equals CD patterns, but no uh, bullish reversal candle or anything to uh, to uh, give us uh, any kind of reversal. So it looks like Regions Financial wants to continue to head lower and likely go test that swing low. So Roger, I hope that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for your request. SNP inside the Tiger's Den wanted to take a look at not STNG. You want to take a look at ON. ON is the ticker symbol. So let's go ahead and get that fired up. And ON right now, what's going on with my system? I'm having keyboard problems. Now, I can deal with a lot of things, but a keyboard problem, that's a problem. What the heck is going on? Okay, and on is what we're taking a look at, which is having a decent day. Uh, it did got, I, I, so I, I see where it got up to. Um, not on this chart here, on this set of charts. But right now you got on trade at 78.72. I know on my other screen it says 78.13. And it is trading still above the top of its daily profile. That was at 75.06. You cleared that yesterday. Um, so that looks pretty good. Yesterday also confirmed a buy the D point pattern because we had that gap to the upside. If we take a look at the weekly chart, you can see that resistance stands at about 79.17. We're trading at 78.85. If you can close above that 79.17 level, well, this can get up to 84.76. The monthly chart looks bullish, or its message to us is bullish, in that price is trading above its green oscillator and change line. Those are bullish conditions for on semiconductor. Now, the daily chart, let's go switch over to the black background chart. You'll see a set of trend lines, and it'll identify exactly what has transpired here today with regard to on semiconductors. So, number of trend lines that have drawn here. These are automated on my uh, system. And so, one trend line is taking the high from March 23rd, and then it's taking the high from April 3rd. And if you draw that little trend line, you'll see that today's price high ran into resistance right there. Beautiful thing. So now you know that today's high, which is at the top of the trend line, is going to be a real key level. If price can close above that, at least on a daily time frame, you'll have achieved uh, overcoming resistance, or this will have, not you. Uh, and then that would suggest getting back to its highs from back in uh, February. And those highs running all the way up to about uh, 87.55. So summarize on semiconductors, Steve. Well, on the short-term basis, which we didn't talk about, on a 30-minute basis, what on has done is created a Rosemontum indicator. Top. So here's the deal, SNP. You get a close below 77.59. That's a that's the bullish structured 30-minute profile. You get a close below that, and you're going to continue to head lower. Steve Rhodes with TF and N. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, we got a caller on the line. Let's go out to California. Let's go to Martinez, California, and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing on Terrific Tuesday? I'm doing great, Steve. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for asking. And it's ticker symbol V-A-L-E. Vale or Valley. I'm not sure what the correct pronunciation is, but I do know the ticker symbol. That's what you're calling about. How can I best help you today? I was actually hoping to look at this one, this one other, and they're both in the same sure. area. But I guess my specific question on uh, Valley is it looks like it uh, broke the swing point on the weekly with volume. But then if you look at the daily, it didn't quite do it. So I wasn't sure which one you kind of give more, you know, validity. I just wanted to uh, ask that question. And yeah. What your thoughts were on, on that. So. Great, great question. So what Brent is doing, I'm going to just open up the uh, weekly chart so that we're first just taking a look at that. And the A to B equals CD pattern that he's looking at, it's a small one. Uh, it's the one, I believe this is the one you're taking a look at, Brent, where the high is on the week that began January 23rd. And then you'd use for the uh, low, March the uh, 20th, week that began there. Retracement right up into April 10th. And uh, as soon as I get that to catch, what the, I've got a keyboard issue. This is a real bummer. There we go. So that, that's your A to B equals CD pattern. It would take it down to trend line support on a weekly basis, long-term trend line support. And that's at the 1203 level. So he would, what Brent had mentioned, the B point, uh, if you take a look at the little box in the upper left-hand side, you'll see it says volume 142 million. Well, the bar that closed below that that was a bar from uh, April the 17th, the week that began April 17th, 154 million shares. So there's your confirm. So if we take that swing right around March 20th, now let's go take a look at the daily time frame. So your question was, you know, do you, does one have higher priority than the other? I suppose that was the, the question out here. Um, the, question, the, the first thing, though, is going to be what are we going to use for B points? For the A to B equals CD to the downside on the daily time frame. What were, you, what were your, your eyes taking you to, Brent? Where were you? Where were you? I know, the eight point is easy, right? So in this case here, we take a look at the Valley daily chart. That's going to be the high from January 26. But you could actually use the low from um, deep February 13th, and then the high from uh, uh, February 21st. That's one pattern. You could use the low uh, from February 27th, and the next high that follows after that. You could actually even use this low here uh, that I see that would take us from. Uh, 
the low from uh, March 24th. That had volume of 45 million shares. When that was passed, there was a gap to the downside with 20, 20, 27 million. So maybe that's what you were looking at, and that's the later volume. Was it the latter? Was it the latter one that you were looking at there? It, it is, yes, the, the March 24th, okay. because that was the lowest point of, out of those different low points. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, you know, you also see on my black background chart here, you see trend line support that was that the, that the computer system is auto automatically drawn in here. So even though we're trading below profile right now uh, for the day, uh, we don't know where it will end the day. And if it does end its way above 1395, now that's a very strong support level. Brent, the reason that I say it's very strong um, is because both the center and the bottom are at the exact same place. So that's where the buyers are lined up out here inside of uh, Valley. I'd say if you get a close below that little trend line there, then I think what takes place is that weekly A to B equals CD pattern. We haven't discussed the monthly at all. And the monthly, uh, what Valley is doing is trading back into an area of support. This is a bullish structured profile. It hasn't gotten down to the top area, which is at 1356, but the bottom of that area is at 1236. So that's the daily, weekly, and monthly. Um, any questions? I'll switch over to the uh, black or to the white background charts. I know you did. You said you had two, though. Um, but I want to switch to the white background charts before you give me the second one. But any questions about these charts here? Yeah, I mean, I'm not in this. I just am thinking it's going to go lower, and you've given me some levels that I think that's roughly where I was looking at. It might have been more like around, you know, the 11, 12 area so. And okay. it's kind of like a lot of us around 12, you know, type area to be watching. So, yeah, that, that's no, that you pretty much answered the question. I just, I'm being patient and just watching these. And they seem like they have kind of similar patterns. They're in the same type of areas, iron ore, you know, so. Yeah. Just, so, in I, the case I think of, there's a lower in price in these. Yeah. In, in the case of Vale, uh, or Valley, 1364 is going to be the weekly TD9 count uh, breakout area. And I'd say if you close below, because last week was a bullish hammer candle, uh, that didn't get all the way down there. But Brent, I think if you got below that 1364, then the areas that you're looking at, maybe 11, but 1203 would be the one-to-one. -one. A weekly A to B equals CD, and it would be 1078, that would be the one to 1 to 1.272 um, area. And 1236 is the bottom of that uh, monthly profile. So let's move on to your, your next request. What what was the next uh, instrument that you'd like to look at? It's uh, Cliff, CLF. CLF. All right, so we'll get those uh, fired up. It's going to take a moment because of what I've got run on the background. But I'm going to switch over to the black background charts because they're going to populate quicker. So we'll take a look at the CLF. And what are you looking for here, Brent? What do you see? Let's take a look. I don't have the chart up at this, this uh, moment. No problem. Let's take a look. I, I think yeah. they're... I think that might be the one that had a little bit more of a, I don't use it a lot, but um, a head and shoulders pattern. Okay. And if you took the center point, if you did like, I like when Basil does that, uh, you know, the plumb line and the, the time price match. So if you took I, that, I, love it. I guess I, I love the high it too. point would be in, in March. Yeah, if I'm looking at the daily, it's, it's the March high. Yeah. And so then you're talking to say one, two, three, basically four months, and we're in about the second month. So maybe, you know, a couple of months down the road here, we get down to that level on the left hand side, which is looks to be around twelve or something like that. So Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So what we have here with regard to Cliff right now today, it is trading below the bottom of a bullish structure daily profile. And that's fifteen oh four. So a close below that is going to suggest lower price. If I move over to the weekly chart, the weekly chart doesn't is trading below profile, so there's no support. So my my what this tells me is price might be headed back towards that uh, swing low from October of twenty twenty two. But before it gets back there, we then move over to the monthly time frame, and the monthly time frame says, okay, maybe we're going to get down there, but first you've got to bust through support and here support is going to be at 1405 and there you've got both the bottom of a bullish structure profile as well as trend line so if cliff cleveland cliffs that is is going to head lower that's the level that it really needs to bust through is the 14 dollar area 1405 to be exact now the daily time frame i'm going to switch charts here is also today negating a td9 count bottom or appears that it will we don't know what the close is at but we can say that as of 1149 that is the case so at a td9 count bottom it took price right up to where it should have that oscillator and change line which is red that's a bearish condition now we're below profile and busting through a pattern this is all suggesting that 
does want uh, lower price. And on a monthly basis, you are trading into that swing point from November. So odds favor at least a test of 1405 as I see it right now. The weekly has an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern that would uh, take you to about 1092. So those are the levels that I've got for CLF. But Brent, any anything else that I can uh, share with you? I think that's it. I, I do believe that both of these are going to go lower, and that it's just a matter of, you know, we always are looking for that pattern to complete and then yes. have the bullish reversal candle, all the, the, the indicators that would, you know, uh, you know, give us some, you know, pause to at least look at it and, and take a long position. So Absolutely. that's what I'll be watching, and that helps so much that what you just gave me, uh, Steve. So Great. thank you so Perfect. much. Hey, Brent, always good to speak to you. Thanks so much for calling. Have a terrific Tuesday, and we'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Folks, we'll be back in just a few. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we got the charge for Tesla up on our screen. Nicholas would like to take a short in Tesla. Nicholas, let me share with you the patterns that are inside the uh, stock charts here. The daily time frame has a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. That uh, formed out here on the trading day of April the 27th. Now, the volume on that bar, 127 million shares. So far today, you're pulling back with 67 million shares. So it formed that bottom. 
form that buy the D point, a Gartley buy. What does the price do? Runs all the way up to that oscillator and change line. That's what it tagged this morning. And now it's a red oscillator and change line. That's not a bullish sign. That's more of a bearish sign. But price is within inside its profile. I have no idea. It's coming down with volume, but it hasn't broken through support. You would need a close below the low from uh, that day of April the uh, 27th in order to negate that by the D point Gartley buy pattern. That's 152.37. The weekly formed a bullish hammer candle last week. That completed a weekly Gartley buy pattern. Granted, price is below that red oscillator and change line, but uh, and you have a monthly buy the D point pattern. Would I take a short here? No, because I did really need to see price break through those. Uh, but look, you may take that short. It's just Stevie wouldn't, not with all those patterns out there inside of Tesla. Uh, Greg wanted to take a look at USO. What we're really going to do here, Greg, because I'm out of time basically, is uh, if I can get to it, is go take a look at Light Sweet Crude, because that will be the better one. So here's the crude oil charts. And on a daily basis, price right now is testing profile support, or I believe it is. Profile support on a, a weekly basis for crude oil is down at uh, 72.77. 72, we're trading below that as we speak right now. We're at 72.35. The daily time frame here, Greg, it is negating a TD9 count bottom. And if price closes the day below... 73.93. This said crude oil is headed to 67.02. Lastly, for Steve, our float guy, he wanted to take a look at the intraday charts here for the NQ. Uh, so the, on the NQ, that's where we're posting up on our screen here. We took a look at that uh, 30 minute, I believe it was a 30 minute and a 60 minute TD9 count bottom pattern that was forming out here. Let me get those and why this isn't pop. Yeah. So you are in uh, you're forming bar number nine right now that says in four minutes you're going to have a confirmed 30 minute TD nine count bottom. And that says that that you should see that bottom by 1230 and price should make its way up to that 13 224 level. And that's the oscillator and change line. Folks, have a terrific Tuesday. Please join us on wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day. Be safe out there. Take care.